How are we all going? Yeah. Fantastic. Now I'm going to share a few things with you tonight. Um, relationships. Uh, there's a few, a few people out there that can probably relate to this. Now, I'm not a very confident guy. Now, growing up in the midst of the 80s, uh, the disco era, um, I was at a uh, nightclub one night and uh, I thought, well, do you know those times when you say the wrong thing at the wrong place at the wrong time? Well, that's me, okay? Now, Adam, I'm at a nightclub, a young lady walks past, I think, oh, say hello. What comes out of my mouth? Hello, Frank Walker National Tiles! <laughs> Uh, it doesn't work, it really doesn't work, but it's good for sales of tiles. Um, so I've sold a lot, but I'm a carpenter, so I've got much use of that. So, uh, but, but talking about nightclubs, uh, and being not a confident person, I was at a nightclub with a friend of mine, Steph, and I, I looked at Steph, because he's always with people, he could always meet people, right? And I said, Steph, what are you doing that I'm not? And he said, bro, you want to meet people? You've got to learn to dance. Because I couldn't dance. But no. I said, all right. So I went into this Steph two-week course, right, of nightclub dancing, right? Anyway, two weeks. I, I actually uh, learnt the, trained on uh, tiles. I trained on floorboards, on vinyl, right? I was ready. Two weeks in, here I go. The local pub, which turned into actually a nice little uh, a, uh, a, a dining room. Um, it, it actually turned into a bingo centre as well, and on a Saturday night, it actually turned into a nightclub. Right, so there was only one room in town. So here we are. I go in. I walk into the foyer. I could hear the. I could actually hear the music. Right. As I'm walking through, the lights were on. Everyone was there. I thought, if I don't meet someone tonight, there's something wrong. I've got my dancing shoes on. So as I've gone into the foyer, there I was. I'm breaking it into the moonwalk. Right. How good is that? Mate? for two weeks. Um, I broke, broke into a dance, right? So I moonwalked straight into a helicopter, straight into a head spin, and then woke up four days later in the Royal Melbourne. <laughs> uh, in the burns board. Apparently I'd actually burnt three layers of my scalp, right? And because uh, apparently you're not supposed to do it on carpet. <laughs> so, so I learned, learned the hard way. But whilst I was in hospital and actually a bit drowsy and coming around, you wouldn't believe who was there. Shane Wall and Greg Matthews. I thought, how good's this? This is mad. I saw it on TV that, you know, they go around to the hospitals, right? And they visit all these patients. How good's it? They've come to the hospital to see me. How good's that? No, it wasn't. They were actually trying to sign me up for events here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but it gets better. Dennis Lilly was there too. <laughs> he was there to actually sign me up for Karma Call. <laughs> but just behind them, there was a group of ladies. Now, I actually recognise these ladies. They're the girls from the, cl the club. How crazy is this? They've come to visit me in hospital. As it turned out, it wasn't. Because apparently, when I got into the helicopter, right, I'd flick nine of them and now I'd put them in hospital too. <laughs> So, but just before I go, um, whilst I was in hospital, I thought, well, is there a chance for me to meet someone? I thought, I'll get online. So I did. Apparently eBay, you can't find anyone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I got onto a chat room and I met her. I met Betty. Betty was fantastic. We had a lot in common. We liked to go to the, to the theatre together. We liked comedy. Right? We love the footy, right? Oh, she back from Collingwood. Anyway, we won't go there. Um, and, um, yeah, so that's it. A few months in, we decided to get married. So we organised this beautiful Italian, you know, not many people, 720 <laughs> intimate Italian people. Because um, my father-in-law apparently wanted to invite people he hadn't seen for 20 years. And they gave money. <laughs> so it was great. $52,000 later, that's how much it cost me, but it's all right, because Italians give money for gifts. So it's fantastic. Go to each table with a swipe card. Hello, Uncle Fred, how are you? Yes, I take Visa MasterCard. Yes, I So it was good. Uh, we actually paid for the wedding, so I thought, 
a week after I got the bill for the sugar almonds, I was 18 dollars out of pocket. <laughs> Guys, I'm happily married now. I've got two beautiful kids that are actually out there in the audience up there. My lovely wife. I've been Robbie G. Thanks for supporting comedy and most importantly, Light FM. Thank you. <laughs>